After our time in southern Uganda, we headed further north to explore the Nile River region from Jinja to the Murchison Falls. We made our way from Entebbe, passing some interesting open-air butcheries. Just outside the town of Jinja is the very source of the famous Nile River, where we went to see the exact spot, or at least the monument, where John Speak first observed the source more than 150 years ago after years of searching and debating. Down, we stopped at the Rolex joint, where we sampled the tastiest and freshest Ugandan Rolexes ever. We don't know why this is not a thing elsewhere, but we will definitely be making Rolexes for ourselves in future. Every African country has its own peculiar everyday scenes that will simply make your day. Uganda has no shortage of these and we were continuously amazed at the variety and weight of items that can be carried on Boda Bodas. A bit downstream, we reached the haven. For the most part, camping in Uganda is rather spartan, but not so here. We enjoyed great views of the Nile, watched black weavers build their nests, waited out a few thunderstorms, and marveled at local fishermen's Nile perch catches. Suitably encouraged, Dio ventured along the river in search of a nighttime perch and managed to snag one on fly. They have bass like bucket mouths, thick dorsal fin spines, and highly reflective eyes adapted for nighttime hunting. We drove further north to the Budongo forest, where a few wild chimpanzees still remain. Here we camped in the yard of Uganda's oldest hotel, where the likes of Ernest Hemingway and Elizabeth Taylor once stayed. The hotel is also famous for hosting the cast while shooting the famous movie The African Queen near Masindi. We contacted a local community guide to help us track down the chimps. After a few hours searching in pouring rain and a very dense and dripping forest, we came across some fresh chimp tracks and shortly thereafter found them high up in the trees, noisily eating and swapping the day's stories. It was an amazing once-in-a-lifetime experience to share a few moments with these intelligent and endangered creatures. Driving further through the forest, we found some olive baboons and black and white colobus monkeys before reaching the Murchison Falls National Park. Straddling both sides of the Nile, this is Uganda's largest national park.
Here we were treated to an impressive array of creatures that are at home north of the equator and new to us. The oil fields in the park and along the adjacent Lake Albert pose a major threat and we hope that this piece of paradise will always remain protected. The park takes its name from the world's most powerful waterfall, the Murchison Falls. Heading upstream, we admire the point where the Nile squeezes through a gorge only 7 meters wide to create a misty spectacle and cauldron of immensely powerful undercurrents, reverse eddies and rapids. Of course, we also had to cast a few very ambitious flies into this crazy water and this time it was Simone who landed a perch with beautiful rocky camouflage colors. We will always remember the excitement of finally succeeding with our quest and briefly admiring these special creatures in their beautiful but very fragile habit. We ended the day camping on the banks of the river here at the northernmost point of our trip. It is our hope that the Uganda Nile system will remain intact for generations to give life to its host of amazing creatures and landscapes and provide adventure to those willing to explore. Here are some trip tips for a Nile River adventure in Uganda. For more info on these tips, head to the blog link in the description below. Join us next time as we explore the Queen Elizabeth National Park and look for gorillas in the windy forests.